Sailing is probably the most important station you can do on a ship. Even if the carp and bilge are full and the gunner sucks, as long as a ship's sailors can generate moves, there's still hope. My name is Colorful, and I'm going to be showing you how to single-handedly carry your ship to victory by getting incredible in sails. To start off, I'd like to thank my good friend Han. He didn't really do anything, but let's show him some love anyway. The basic idea of sailing is to try and clear the target platforms in a large combo. Platforms are worth much more than clearing lines can ever be worth. The stationary box pieces are also worth more than a regular line, so it's generally a good idea to try and launch combos off of these, and even try and include them in later parts of the combo. To start off, you usually want to try and fill the bottom platforms first. It doesn't hurt to put a few pieces onto the upper platforms, especially if these are rarer pieces, like double colors. You want to partially fill all the higher platforms, and leave one to maybe three open spaces on all the lower platforms. Your goal is to try and drop pieces from the higher platforms onto the lower platforms, resulting in a clear. Try and do as many platforms as you can at a time. You want to try and have a platform as far towards the end of your combo as you can get it, rather than just stringing a lot of four in a row together at the end, because platforms are worth much more, and the score you lose setting up extra four in rows is pretty much wasted when you can be clearing more platforms. To avoid booching on the first lead point, try and snap off your first combo quickly, even if it means settling for triples. It's better for you and your ship that you keep yourself at least at good level. If your flag drops below good during the voyage, do more small combos to keep it strong at good. This way in battles you continue to generate moves. Remember that you score higher at the start of a puzzle than later, so make sure you get off poor as fast as you can or it'll be harder to do later. Here are some tips that can easily increase the length of your combo. A platform will clear before a four in a row does. You can use this to stagger your platforms and significantly increase your combo length. You can also try and use four in a rows in the middle of your combo to increase the multiplier on later platforms. You can try and bridge one platform to another by making a row of pieces over and dropping the last piece in from the bridge. This also works for building up again from the bottom. Make sure to clear the stationary boxes that are blocking you from chaining platforms together. Try and check over your combo before you break it. For example, I should have looked and noticed I was missing a white on that one combo in the video. Remember that as shiny as a Vegas 5 may look, it also prevents many more opportunities for things to go wrong. Try to avoid overbuilding. Also, in your build, take care to watch that you don't line up four in a row horizontally and ruin the entire thing. If you do mess up, try and salvage what you can with combos. This is not only better for your score, but it's also probably an easier way to clean up. Try and launch all of your combos with the four in a row at the top, maybe even two or three if you have space from the top. Just make sure that you don't leave yourself in a position that you're going to booch the puzzle. That's about all I've got for you, so good luck saving your bean average from some very bad spots, and happy trading.